Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Blender unsupported graphics card on driver poor point three. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, the first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up any browser that we have right now. In this case, I'll be using my browser here, which is going to be Google Chrome. Now from here on Google Chrome or in your browser, go to google.com and just type in the following, which is going to be open DLL files and press on enter. Now look for the dllfiles.com link here and click on it. In this case, you should be able to see a bunch of information here, but the most important information or section here is going to be the download section. Now, in this case, it is recommended that you first determine what is your computer's architecture and the version that you'll be using. Now, in this case, you should be able to see or basically choose from 32 or 64 architecture. Now, to view your architecture, you can just go ahead and go to this PC section, right click on the disk PC on your file explorer, and from here, click on properties. This should open up your settings. Now in this case, scroll down a bit. And from here, you should be able to see a section that says 64-bit operating system. Now meaning it is going to be a 64 base operating system or an architecture. In this case, you need to download a 64 architecture. In this case, once you determine the correct one, you could just go ahead and click on the download button here. And it should start the download process. Now from here, you should be able to see a bunch of things here. In this case, you just need to click on download or wait for it to download itself. As you can see, we have open al32.zip. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to make a copy of the open al32 DLL. So let's go ahead and extract it into our desktop and close this one. Now what we need to do is we need to locate the location for Blender. So in this case, go ahead and close this location, right click on Blender and from here, click on open file location. Now what we need to do next is we need to actually look for the following file name. In this case, this is going to be open and just press on enter. In this case, look for the exact name here, which is going to be open l 32dll In this case, right click on it. And from here, what you need to do is we need to open file location again. Now from here, as you can see, we have open l 32dll Now what you need to do is you just need to replace the file in this location. But before doing that, make sure to right click on the original file here click on the copy and paste it on a different location so that you'll have an emergency emergency copy just in case something went wrong. In this case, once you've done that, go ahead and just drag it in here and that should solve your problem. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.